Alrighty boys, so welcome back to another video. So yes, I'm kind of back from a mini little break here. Um, like I said, I've been really sick the past couple of days. Uh, my voice is still kind of recovering a little bit, but uh, you know, it's getting back a little bit. So definitely going to be uh, back making some videos and whatnot. So this isn't the promise video that uh, I was going to put up for today. I was going to put up a dot low video. Uh, oh, hold on, actually, hold on. Let's turn on the light or something. There we go, fix the lighting. And, uh, but yeah, I was gonna do dot low, and unfortunately, uh, you know, your boy, um, uh, audio didn't record all too well, so I'm gonna try to fix the audio and see if I can, uh, try to fix it or not. It's, like, off pace, so I just have to, like, reline it up with the gameplay. Um, but I have to do it for 15 different clips, so I'm gonna, you know, do that at a different time. So I figured, uh, we cover this Mr. Beast stuff since it's fresh and new. I'm gonna be cutting this into two different parts. Originally, I was going to do a three-part series on this where it was just going to be me reacting to the full Mr. Beast allegations and stuff like that um, for the uh, with the interview with Oompaville. But I'm going to go ahead and watch more Pegasus and watch his POV since it's only 52 minutes. And it's cut down a lot more shorter compared to two and a half hours. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to drop a like and sub. Here's our YouTube comment shout out. Let's go and get into it, guys. Mr. Beast has finally responded to the allegations Jesus in Christ. an interview on Oompaville channel. Wish. This is his oh, official audio response. Is so fucking loud. This is what everybody has been waiting for for months. Yep. This will probably be the last video about Mr. Beast. Finally time to move on. But let's go through this entire thing one last time. Get it's just crazy because it, it's, 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 it's been quite the quite well, the journey, boys. It's been quite the journey. They have a few Mr. videos up on the channel. If you guys want to watch this, you be willing to have a whole playlist and everything. Bible and swear. Oh my gosh, you honest, actually have a Bible? I have two Bibles. Are you, are you being serious? I am being serious. Okay. I swear. This means it's legit. Oh boy. Why were you yep. so silent? Yes, uh, especially off the bat. Like, you did respond to the Ava Tyson stuff immediately. But, right. like, you know, right after that, a bunch of other stuff came out. And Dawson's video, his first video, gained a bunch of traction. What was your reasoning for being so silent? The Ava stuff came out. And I put out that tweet. We hired the investigators to go look into it. And, uh... Part of that investigation is they recommended that I not talk about drama or really do anything on that because it might hurt influence. Yeah, if I could go back in time, I would I would do what we're doing here because I, I assume this is like... That's right interesting that he says that because I feel like he, he should have just said something anyways or been like, hey, I can't really talk right now. You know, um, with this whole Ava Tyson stuff going on, I already have people investigating that. We'll go ahead and get to it when we get to it. I just want to make sure the air is clear before I start making some announcements, which I'm pretty sure in hindsight, he's probably thinking that now. But I mean, that would probably be the first thing I would think of if I was in a situation like that. Just be like, it's just clear to clear it and get it out of the way, man. So, you know? Okay, so basically he was legally advised not to, to make sure that the investigation by the law firm was conducted properly. Obviously that made it snowball like crazy and he regrets that decision. I guess any future controversies will hopefully be addressed immediately. But uh, then he goes over a few of the allegations like uh, him hiring a registered offender named Delaware. People allege that you hired a registered Named yeah, though this is wild, boys. Whole conspiracy with it. Uh, why did you hire Delaware? And were you aware that he was here before you hired him? Yes, I did hire him. Um, but for the context around it, uh, I hired him when I was 19, so I was a teenager. And this is uh, kind of leans a little bit into what we were talking before. This is back when it was just a couple of my friends from high school, my mom. Um, my videos were getting bigger. I needed more right. help, and so he probably didn't know. Him. Because I'm dumb. <laughs> like, I probably should have gone on some site and hired people who had production experience. But instead, I, I walked into my local Best Buy and I just hired multiple people. Obviously, when I was a teenager, I didn't know what a background check was. Um, and I just hired a couple people there that wanted to help me make videos. One of them was the person named Delaware. So he unintentionally did it. So, like he said before, it really was not his fault. Nothing like that. So, I don't know. And so I walked in because I'm dumb. Like, I probably should have gone on some site and hired people who had production experience, but instead I, I walked mm -hmm. into my local Best Buy and I just hired multiple people. Obviously, when I was a teenager, I didn't know what a background check was. Um, and I just hired a couple people there that wanted to help me make videos. One of them was the person named Delaware. And uh, no, I did not know he was a registered offender. Um, there's a, a rumor that's gone around that said that he sat me and my mom down and told us. No, Obviously. No. I don't remember that happening, but yeah, it, it's 
just that's sort of interesting. Maybe he talked to his mom. I don't know. I, I, I take accountability. Yes, if I could go back in time, I would tell teenage me, "Hey, you're supposed to do background checks." Okay, so essentially, you're saying that he was young and stupid, and he just hired a random guy from a store, didn't do background mm -hmm. checks. He should have done as time went on, but Indeed he just didn't. He was he a it, sex offender. It was like a dumb mistake. And, the and shame on Best Buy, bro. Shame on you, Best Buy, having to be a manager. That. And uh, the source of that information was a Jake the Viking toy. Who people, you know, don't seem to trust that much. He also mentions that if he could go back in time, of course, he wouldn't do it and would do actual, like, background checks. Basically, it comes down to, do you believe his word over Jake the Viking? Then they talk about the whole meme of investigating himself and finding himself innocent. It wasn't an internal investigation. It was an external investigation, which was clearly laid out in the things we showed. Yeah, a third-party um, investigation. Yeah, exactly. And so... I mean, it is a little bit of a, like, uh, you know, a lot know, of people man. I saw were saying like, well, you paid them. And it's like, well, yeah, well, top tier lawyers and federal prosecutors don't work for mm -hmm. free. So I have to pay them. Yeah. So I don't, I don't really know how to debunk that one. I mean, it just is. Yeah. I mean, I think most people know that one. <laughs> Basically, that's just how legal stuff works. Uh, you I have to pay them. If there's actually a better way to do it, it just sounds very absurd to anybody looking in. I mean, it does because you're paying for somebody to do an investigation right? into yourself. Of course, the internet was making fun of that. Nothing to debunk there. Feels like it could be very biased. Ask, that's uh, all. The result of the third party investigation said that they were hiring a new CEO, CFO, right. CPO, and general counsel, which is a very interesting result for an investigation that supposedly didn't find much wrong. Now, in my personal right. call with Jimmy, I actually asked him about this and getting eight ads every 20 minutes is actually yeah i mean biblical. considered yeah, or yeah, considering yeah, the whole fact that Twitch, that all happened something must have happened for I don't legal know. reasons because apparently if you explicitly say the reason you fire someone you can get sued i don't know exactly how it works but that's what he told me and that's probably why some questions aren't actually in the interview but anyways upa talks about the shady company culture obviously in general a lot of people i've seen a lot of things about you know hr stuff in my company and i think one thing people don't have is just the context. Like, I think they think my my channel is just like five people or mm -hmm. ten people or twenty, whatever. Like, they don't realize the size of it. Like, I just want no, to no, no. I think we know the size of it, man. At this size, like, you know, it's you just you. You have idiots in your company. That's all it is, man. You got to get rid of them. Get rid of them. I mean, that's just mm -hmm. impossible. So don't, don't try to be nice to them. I don't want people no to severance. Just get the fuck out. They'll learn their lesson by losing a big opportunity. Simple as that. Jimmy didn't learn. Like. Any company of this size, there's always going to be some... Especially with some of the things that's now, happening, like the assault and stuff like that. Like, what the like, fuck are, like, the weirdos? And shield myself, there are two things that are in, con like, someone of, uh, in my position who runs a company like this is in control of. One is, you know, making sure we're not fostering anything inappropriate and, right. you know, allowing it. And then two, when it inevitably happens, because it just will in a company my size. And I'm trying to be transparent here. Like, it's, mm -hmm. you know, um, like, uh, how do you respond to it? And then, like, in the making sure you're not fostering it, Part of Quinn Emanuel, when we had them do their investigation, is I had them look at every system in my company. I had them talk to my employees and if you know, see if there's anything they uh, could bring to Quinn Emanuel's attention that they could make me aware of. And like, um, I think we it was in the report. It's like we established um, an anonymous hotline because Quinn Emanuel showed me data that like sometimes people don't that's feel fair. comfortable talking to HR or their boss and like leveled up like our C-suite because and that's a good change I've had a lot of people I think every job should have that like me they've never ran a company that has hundreds of employees before so I actually just hired a couple of people who have worked on fortune 500 companies who have actually ran companies of this size yeah. before and so you know they're showing me lots of things that bigger companies do that Obviously, I'm just ignorant on because I'm a YouTuber, yeah. you know what I mean? Okay, so basically he says that, you know, he started off... I think his company YouTuber, just grew too just quick and he didn't grow with it, growing pains, you know? got too big for him to handle yeah. every single interaction. And, you know, <laughs> growing pains for sure. his company can say they feel harassed <laughs> right, or whatever. Boys. Still sick. And he's saying Recovering. that he would have he no right idea about it. So the steps he's taking to rectify this is specifically introducing an anonymous hotline so that people right. can report bad behavior without... You know, fearing repercussions from anybody. And that's how it should be. You like shouldn't that. have to worry so, about that in the workplace specifically. This retaliation is against the law. So, as a result of their investigation, it's like, hey, this part is wrong in your company. This is how you Especially actually do laws. it. So then he went ahead and fixed it. Your mom was previously head of your HR department, um, and some people have criticized that as a conflict of interest. Did you personally, at the time, even consider that? Mm -hmm. um, and do you now? also acknowledge that that is a conflict of interest oh i agree that's a dumb thing to do yeah i do think context matters though because like this is where a lot of these things that i assume we're going to talk about is like people conflate current mr beast with 400 employees and spending yes. hundreds of millions of dollars a year with mr beast when he's a teenager and starting i agree like it's mm -hmm. stupid like 
Uh, you definitely shouldn't have. I just think he didn't really trust anybody, so someone he trusted someone. Educated in HR, which is obviously what we have. We have an HR team now. Yeah. Um, okay, so a lot yeah. of these responses boils down to him saying that he was just a dumb YouTuber, didn't expect to get so big, and he didn't know how to, how to handle stuff like a proper company. And that's pretty and, fair because I mean so nobody knew how to navigate any of that at the time, is, man. Well, I do like him, but I think a little better job of the interview could have been done. Like you know, some of the main stuff is the Ava Chris Tyson stuff, which he does he does get to, but it's added added as like an addendum to the interview which he forgot to ask about which is crazy like that should be the first thing you ask about but um anyways they, they go through it one by right. one and he it should have been done yeah one. then they talk about the no means no rules i think we went over this like 50 times i don't know who actually believes this because the very first time i saw it i i also said that you know it, it was just company culture nothing to do with harassing women at all so I don't know why people ever ran with that. That was just ridiculous. No, doesn't yeah, that's pretty no well. policy oh, God, that was yeah. criticized. That that was crazy. I mean, when I first saw I mean, it, I was like, what the fuck? Oh, you're answering for me. Let okay. me answer. <laughs> <laughs> because we do, I don't know if anyone's ever seen our videos, crazy things that have never been done before, right? No one's ever yeah, of course. on YouTube at least buried themselves alive for seven days. No one like tries to dangle an obstacle course from cranes. And it's like, I dare you to let me build you a complete. Okay, yeah. Free so, some of these, dude, some of these ads are creepy, bro. Don't be rude, but if they say no, just try to understand why. Okay, so then they move on to talk about CGI. Um, listen, I I don't know how many people care about these portions. I, no. I feel like it should have been structured. I don't so really that care. This part is at the end. A lot of the people are obviously more focused on the degenerate slash elite. I, I don't know. Slash, I feel like Uma Bill is trying to find like a middle ground. To be honest with you, you should be growing the hell out of them, so man. I, I did see a lot of. Bro, was silent for too long. Everybody knows but, you, but know, you know what everybody wants to know do you think like, come the on now. use of cgi can undermine the credibility or authenticity of the content that you're making uh and if so why do you choose to use it uh good question and yes i do think rampant use of cgi can undermine it and like also we rarely use it like i mean maybe like half a percent point one percent of my shots um what i really don't want is people to not be able to trust my videos just because occasionally i want to make a wall blacker or mm -hmm. like i want to extend a set a little bit just to make it look cooler and like right. make you feel in tune with it because what we do on its own is insane you know what i mean like we don't need it you know what i mean uh there are times in my videos where my head is bigger mm. than my head in real life because my <laughs> editors make it bigger yeah <laughs> but i mean right. yeah. cgi is the still words, the subtitles in your video a little much that's CGI. Okay, I really don't know what's going on here. They've li they've gone off track a little bit. Um, I guess Oompa Oompa's just a chill guy making some sort of jokes. I feel like the vibes are supposed to be a little more serious. Sort yeah, of I don't know. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like this so far, boys. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm, I'm not getting bored of it, editing, but like it's not. He's not getting to the point that everybody wants to know. Like I clicked on this video to find some shit out, man. There was some things like. I'm glad I didn't react to the full two and a half hours. I was asleep. Five minutes to cross the white toma glowworm caves and then the video is titled seven days stranded in a cave so stuff like that i don't think people actually care it's just you know a little bit of transparency a little bit of authenticity is appreciated like i think people would appreciate if he just came out and said yeah my videos are exaggerated a bit with the editing and stuff but right. you know we do real or real stuff we put a lot of effort into the videos we got to make it youtube yeah, title course. and thumbnail friendly but a little bit yeah, he's just not getting down to the point at all, boys. Like, he's not addressing anything that's, like, being faking put against him. Of philanthropy. There was an allegation that you use CGI to create the impression that you guys uh, built a hospital, part of a hospital, in order yeah. to deceive viewers. Uh, or, you know, manipulate them into believing that you did more than you actually did. Yeah. Tell us about that. Yeah, no, that's, that's a great one. Um, honestly, truthful. Dumb mistake. Um, at the start of one of our uh, videos, they were trying to show what uh, this like building looked like in the past, and in the past that hospital wasn't there, um, so they removed it um, in the editing. Which um, and this was just like a small part of the, it was. This is oh like my god, it was that we built this hospital or whatever. There Bro, you can't lie about this stuff though. That's bad. People saw that. That's gonna take it. That's like, gonna thought, take a huge hit on their channel, it, which is not the intention. And so it's it just a dumb mistake. Like I. Trust me, when I saw that, I, was, I talked to the editors. I was like, come on, like, 
you know, I, I have 100 editors, and obviously we have a bunch of different channels and things like that, so. Okay, wow. All right, so he admitted it, I guess. That was actually super unexpected. Uh, essentially, he says that his editing... Accountability. Before and after. How many times I tell you all in videos, bro? It's a little bit of accountability goes a long way, bro. After edit, they put it back in, giving the viewer the impression that they've built this hospital, which is not what they did. They did some other stuff, like install solar panels. And it convinced some people in the comments that they were doing more philanthropy. And that's the thing is, like, if you make it more realistic and relatable, or not relatable, but, like, more realistic and, like, oh, we just built this and this. We didn't do a whole ass building. People be like, ah, oh, they're not trying to take credit for everything. They're trying to actually do what they can, you know? I don't know. For example, Sorry for the positive question. This is going to be a two-parter. Don't worry. We're not watching oh, the full 52. Okay. The hospital there. That'll, That'll be a two-parter. So of course, I'll save you all from the yap sessions. So okay. Essentially he says it's the two-hour yap session. And he wasn't maliciously trying to show that he built a hospital like that. Uh, it's basically down to, do you believe him here? And I feel like if, if these are one-off cases and they you, they don't get repeated ever again, then I'm inclined right. to believe that. You know, And once again, optically, you're the guy who's talking about you know spinning. Are you older than 18? We're looking for motivated people. I mean, I don't know. Honestly, if I were to tell y'all, this whole situation is pretty wild with the whole CGI thing. Um, like he said, he has tons of editors. The editors probably just thought, this is going to bang in the video, bro. Like, imagine this is going to be a banger, bro. Like, this is going to go really well. This is going to, you know. I don't think Mr. Beast really actually thought to him and said, hey, what are you doing? Because otherwise, the video wouldn't have gotten up. You know what I mean? 26 hours a day. Uh, looking at data. Does he not watch the content you know, he puts every up? Every decision, every single oh. frame that's in a video. I don't think he does. Combed over, and then that until after. Mistake, obviously, that you're capable of making, your team is capable of making, and like the whole thing is capable of making. And people, you know, they'll compare and contrast uh, whether they know or not. Like they think everything you're doing is 110% deliberate. Okay, so I did notice a ton of people saying this. Uh, basically, even when I talked about my call with Mr. Beast, essentially everyone was saying like he's definitely manipulating you. Like. He's definitely uh, trying to get on your good side, all of that. Guys, don't worry. I literally can't be bought, nor am I, like, uh, awestruck by big YouTubers or anything like that. So, no, it was literally just a genuine interaction we had or whatever. Um, obviously, it doesn't excuse any of the shady stuff he did. I was right. just telling you guys the truth. I, I didn't really expect everyone to be like, oh, he's definitely manipulating. Like, you weren't in the call. You don't know. I was just yeah. telling you my experience. But, um, yeah, essentially, the, this is going to happen. With Mr. In general, he's a cool, uh, blah, blah, blah. cool guy. Sorry for the stutter. Jesus Christ. To, um, you know, but, yeah, in general, he's a cool guy you're not gonna ignore him and you know write him off or and be rude really if you're chill you yourself so is he going to plan he's just a chill guy bro you know what i mean for the main nah, channel i 100 believe me. that like it's definitely planned for the philanthropy channel uh I, I i don't know i don't know i honestly can't say right uh i can probably accept it was a one-off mistake now umpa asks if the videos are actually rigged but there's evidence that you put uh your previous employees friends whatever controlled opposition yeah. uh in your challenge videos such as the 100 boys versus oh hold on boys video. i got my yeah. fucking uh, thumbnail did you put them in that video or video jesus i just got my thumbnail boys. to rig the outcome of the challenge of yeah. the challenge and <laughs> my girlfriend after that video literally went on a podcast Oof. to describe this so it's not even like this was hidden information this has been out there you were mm. in the video uh, 100 girls versus 100 boys for five hundred thousand yeah. dollars yes on the day everybody had to go for the tests and a lot of people came got their tests and they tested positive mm. and the girls somehow ended up with way too little contestants so i got a call randomly from the studio and they're right. like we need a female I'm like, well, I am and, a female. And that's a very I likely scenario. That's a very likely scenario. Yeah. That happens. Yes. So. And did the others know you were dating Mr. Beast at the time? They pretended that they didn't, but I think some of them caught on. <laughs> did he, like, move to the side of the circle? And just oh, no, he you? avoided eye contact at all costs. <laughs> but, I mean, literally, that's she said on Mr. Beast is player, man. They were competing for money like everyone else. Transparency, I'll look at the camera. No, they were not there to rig it. I did not tell them what to get out. I did not tell them right. what to do. They had their own free will. And, um, yeah, I really didn't think too much of it. And, you know, here right. we are a couple of years later, and that's turning into proof that I've... Yeah, I feel like the videos to it coming up, like, years later, later okay, is a so little crazy. Because it wasn't missing information like the Ava Tyson stuff. It was out right? there for forever, now, so... Again, it's, it's down to know. how much you believe him there. Uh, he said his girlfriend is evidence, but it's his girlfriend, and they were, she would likely defend him. Just playing devil's advocate here. So, yeah, in my opinion, it's just a bit hard to defend because... Just having employees in your videos, regardless of if you're not meaning to rig it at all, right? Just yeah. having them there, you didn't tell them anything. It still looks bad to viewers, and you can understand why a general viewer watching that... They should have had backups ready right? to go, if, and I'm sure they probably learned by now. And employees in there, 
they're going to assume it's like alternates or something like that be like hey you have a chance of getting called on we'll pay you a little bit of money to be here employees or friends in the challenges make it a point to and then just be ready find that's random it. contestants for everybody right? like especially that. if there's like massive huge prize monies because if your girlfriend is participating in the challenge and then highly unlikely that she's the one that wins but imagine she she ends up winning yeah that doesn't really look good on paper are not man gonna say it's rigged of course people are gonna yeah of up course. Those allegations once again so it doesn't matter whether it's rigged or not people are always like gonna say it that. and you know there's like convenient stuff happening people of, are always you know, judgmental on the internet myself included a car is a prize and you, know, said, you know him as well so possible coincidence obviously again it depends if you like him and believe uh what jimmy is saying here as well then they right. talk about soggy disavowing mr beast and saying that he felt used by him he has criticized you today oh, here we go soggy and last night i think uh you know to to sort of timestamp when this video is being recorded so people know um he said so I guess criticize you sharing his video with other YouTubers as a way to shield yourself from criticism, you know, like deeming the video to yeah. two people. He also expressed feeling used by you, given that you used uh, his video as a strategy to uh, gather favor from the public. I interpret as him just trying to be honest with his audience and just right. expressing how he feels. And he probably, in, in his head, if he was even being more honest, he'd probably be like, Jimmy, why don't you just say these things? Why am I saying it? Yeah, that's yeah, honestly right. fair. That's I do true. feel bad for Soggy because he felt used by Mr. Beast and the internet definitely clowned on him for it. Putting my beef aside as well, I think it's good that he made that tweet and made sure people know that he's not just like a Mr. Beast blazer as well. And Mr. Beast also commented yeah. on Soggy. Yeah, I, I think the whole point was that he, there was a few things he was wrong on and people were just like, oh, you're fucking dick writer and you're trying to like be right like or you're trying to be on his side i think he genuinely was just trying to you know go with the facts that he thought were true and unfortunately some of the, some of the things were like 100 percent. so yeah it just did not go very well for him at all he got a lot of hate video. on twitter it's all something about baseless slander about yeah me. i mean uh, i obviously that was a stupid comment yes yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah do, well, how do you think that looks i mean yeah dumb like, yeah Agreed. Yeah, that obviously looks yeah, really bad. Yeah, uh, really dumb. Claimed that you ran really fucking dumb. Illegal lotteries, Let's be honest. Uh, and oh boy, here we go. Illegal lotteries, boys. Saudi's Come on now. He sort of, I think, disproved two. Yes. And then one, he still believes was an illegal lottery. Yes. Uh, do you believe that you ran an illegal lottery? Did you believe at the time? What was your mindset? Did you check with the FCC? Was yeah. there any compliance? Any steps taken to prevent this? What 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 is your just perspective on that? Yes. Um. So. I don't think we did. I have people looking into it and like trying to pull the footage and, and figure it out. Um, you know, he disproved the two, uh, which <laughs> I mean, those were crazy. I don't want to just like speculate. I have a team looking into it. I don't think we did though. But regardless, just to be truthful, if people want a refund or think for whatever reason, like right. they did something wrong, like I'll send you a, a link that you can just put in the description where they can get a refund. Maybe you just throw it on the screen here. Okay. Um, Okay, that's a great first step that Mr. Beast is offering. Refunds. Yeah, it's a little it's late, a though. I'm not going to lie. Uh, any people who felt scammed, if they can, you know, prove that they were manipulated by some of those events. Now, I wish Oompa asked uh, and pressed him about, did they actually delete any streams off the internet and why? Also, one part that was left out yeah. that nobody talked about for some reason is that... Oh, is it the shirt Mr. signing? Beast would say, you know, the next person who buys in five minutes wins a prize, and then he would forget... Not everybody cares about quality. And then on top of that, there's people yes. signing his name for him on some of the shirts. And then he'd say, oh, actually, never mind. Next some person who buys gets a prize. That's obviously not uh, acceptable to anybody who is looking for it. Yeah, that's kind of scamming, too. Said, yeah, because people already put in the orders, man. Um, so does that qualify as illegal or was that just a mistake? Is, you know, Soggy's video also did not address that as well. So there could be some pushing on that as well, but, you know, let's move on. Now, Oompa asked a big question of will Beast be suing Dogpack? Now, I actually talked to Beast in private about this, and Beast right. told me that he would wait till everything's over. I guess he's getting some stuff checked, and then he may have to sue Dogpack. He's oh. also aware of the massive strikes in effect and, you know, what happened when he sent Dogpack the should have monetized those stuff. videos. Time but, to lawyer uh, up, know, man. As public opinion changes a little bit on Dogpack as well, He's feeling more comfortable, and he said he might actually do it. Are you going to sue Dogpack? Uh, well, you know, there's tons of examples of him intentionally right. manipulating things to not be true and posting online. I mean, I've literally had people pull out millions uh -huh. of dollars and then tell me it was directly because of his video. Don't worry. I instantly was like, can you send that in writing? So... You know, if I win a case or anything, I can 
directly point damages. No reason why. Like, no. Like, Hold on. He just said millions of dollars. Dog pack, you better be ready to fucking pack your bags. Cause you're gonna be homeless. He ain't gonna get your shit together. You should have monetized the videos, to. man. I mean, it's just okay. So, uh, oh. yes. They're not done drafting it up, but once they're done, more than likely, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, that's Dog Pack is in trouble, and if Jimmy does decide, yeah, to sue him, basically he's basically fucked. Will decide at that point, and Jimmy seems pretty confident he will win. There's obviously the optic. I think obviously there's investigative journalism. Like there's a whole side of that too. Like, it's just freedom of press at that point, I feel like, especially since he didn't monetize it. Like, he wasn't trying to do it for money. Unlike a lot of news sources that do shit for money like that and views and whatnot. I don't think he really did it for that. I think he just did it because that's what he thought was true. Um, so, I don't know. Quote, right, we'll critics, but obviously, some people can point out that this is a different situation if someone is spreading, like, straight up lies, intentionally manipulating stuff like right. that. Yeah. Then, of course, it will be seen as not science and criticism. Then, stopping someone from intentionally spreading lies about you, right? Then, Oompa asks about It just depends what he targets there was in the lawsuit. Document, and there was Coffeezilla's investigation as well. A little context before this clip Mr. Beast apparently made, like, 10 to 20 million dollars from these crypto projects and tokens. And uh, essentially, oh, he says that it was probably the last part we'll cover it for me. And it was is the people or he hired, for part two or something example, like that. Something we'll very see. similar has happened. Well, not that similar, but something is happening to Coffeezilla, who we'll talk about here in a minute as well. Uh, he's being sued. There was a comprehensive report published that painted a negative light on crypto dealings allegedly associated with you. Uh, to what extent were you involved in these crypto transactions, and how do you respond uh, respond to Coffeezilla's video on you detailing these allegations? I thought he gave you a benefit of the doubt in that video. Yeah. Um, I think he's right. a very reasonable guy. To be honest, I think he's a very smart. Oh, of course, guy. yeah. Coffeezilla is really good. We've already reacted to his videos before. I, I think they're really good. Which is pretty rare on YouTube. I think there's a little playlist on my channel as well. Coffeezilla's video. videos yeah. as well. It was managed by a fund, so I'm pretty I wasn't sure. the one managing the wallet. And you know, I, I've never had access to that wallet. I've never done the buying and selling of that wallet. There was a uh, actual professional who's written books on crypto and lived and breathed crypto every second of the day managing it. So most of the allegations there, like, are just answered by like. I am too stupid to do that. That's why a fund right. was managing it. You know what I mean? Okay, so he says the fund was managing it, and you know he didn't have much say in that. But there was also okay. the Logan Paul podcast where he's yeah, he Logan Paul podcast, to yeah. buying something based on Gary Vee's recommendation, which made it look like Jimmy was in control of these investments. I mean, so basically he also could have just fed it to his team and been like, "Hey, can you look into you, this or something like that?" Do you believe that Jimmy would let his uh, fund manage millions of dollars without his involvement, or how involved do you think Jimmy? I don't was? know. Let's was see, he man. The one doing these so-called dumps, or was it his team? Does that change anything? His team could have uh, just done it for him, you know. Report them so you guys can. I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt, man. Move on the next one talking Just about a little bit 1000 eye surgeries mr beast was accused oh of here we go oh, wait no this is definitely the last part then we're gonna switch off the part two because holy hell 1000 people with blindness uh i just watched a video on this a couple days ago it was a non-profit that alleged it was, oh that's a good segue yeah it, it, it was alleged that it was not paid yeah uh and you eventually paid them eight months later what were, what was the cause of the delay um, the charity we were working with was supposed to release the funds to him afterwards to pay for it. There's a little bit of a misunderstanding. They didn't get it. So we in, uh, ended up paying for like 970 and like uh, the, I didn't know of this, but like those, that little misunderstanding never got taken care of. So then the charity that did the 30 surgeries made a video saying, Hey, you know, we didn't get paid somehow right. that never ended up on my radar for eight months, which is honestly crazy. I don't know how no one sent that to me. Whoa. Right. That's, that's pretty I instantly called the, the team we were working with. And I was like, what's going on here? And then we looked through it all, blah, blah. And then I was just like, I just paid oh. them. So I actually double paid for those surgeries and just paid them separately. Why would I intentionally not pay the last? Th well, that's the problem too, is that his team to fumbled the bag. You should fire just all of them. Nuke for the entire for rep of the video just to save 30% right. of money. A, that just doesn't even seem logical. Unless he B, sent the money in the wrong. What makes it even less logical know. is they did 800 more eye surgeries off camera. And obviously... No, I, I'm over explaining things, but I have to because there are literal videos using this as proof that I'm evil and using this right. as proof that I don't care and using this as proof that I fake things. The horns, yeah, a little bit of a whoopsie, but we fixed it when we found out about the whoopsie. I mean, that's yeah. the honest truth. Yeah, I mean, you, you can't expect to not make mistakes. Yeah, but yeah, that's the problem. You're too big to be making mistakes like yeah, that, man. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. And when I do, we fix them. That was so incredibly awkward. I, I don't that, know what, that was really I don't awkward. Know what, is going on there but it was funny yeah so basically b says that he didn't know and when he knew he immediately tried to pay it 
Good yeah, question. I don't know, man. Yeah, that, that, that's where I'm skeptical about it, too. Eight months yeah, is crazy. That they would purposely do any of this because it would tank their reputation, which it, it did. It obviously. did. A lot. It for philanthropy like wise. If I worked for someone and got paid eight months later and my calls were ignored for eight whole months, obviously I'd be super mad. So I don't yeah. make sure it never happens Definitely. again, even if they're working through a third party or something like that. Then they move on to the dog pack allegation. Yeah, okay, safe. okay. So before we get into that, that's going to be left for part two. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here guys. I'm gonna give my final thoughts in part two Okay, part two is gonna be pretty much a yap session including the rest of the half of this um, Video so if you guys uh, want to see that make sure you guys drop a like and sub and support the channel by you know, I don't know dropping a comment down below suggesting some things I should react to next uh, something you guys would like to see and uh, Yeah, I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching later boys Thank you.